Looking back on the last three years of work that went into the Coyote Rocket Project, there were a lot of discouraging moments, but there were even more rewarding ones. Overall, it was a great project that stimulated my brain and kept me from building some kind of doomsday device. Gee, I wish we had one of them doomsday machines, Stacy. But now that it's over, I need a new project. Last month, Alberto and I tested a few hybrid PVC engines that failed to light. Since then, I've worked on the ignition system. And I've come up with a design that's simple and should work well, but I need an isolated place to test it. Our normal launch site is about 100 miles from San Diego. But for engine testing, I'd really like something closer. I get emails all the time saying, Dan, I'd love to test an engine, but I live in a city. What should I do? P.S. You're super awesome. Wink. Smiley. Face. San Diego is the eighth largest city in the United States, so if I can find a place to test, anybody can. First place to start? Google Maps. Satellite view is a great way to pick potential test sites. For example, check this place out. A bunch of empty concrete foundations? Perfect. But this much prime empty land, right next to the ocean? Probably military or government. Yep, here's the fence. So this one's probably no good. And what's the deal with this anyway? Five layers of fence? Looks like someone's planning for a zombie apocalypse. So, back to the map. Let's check out the east side of town near the Mexican border. Now this looks promising. Let's go check it out. This area is perfect. It's BLM land, which means I can use it without any permission or permits, and the best part is it's only 22 miles from downtown. Que paso, amigo? Hey, dude. How you doing? All right. Good to see you. Ready to do this thing? Ready. Let's go. Let's hit it. Okay, so for today's test, we've got two identical engines we'll be testing. Um, both are PVC, using PVC for the fuel and for the engine casing, and then it uses nitrous oxide for the oxidizer. So um, we'll see how they work. Hopefully, it'll be good. It couldn't be better. <laughs> it was awesome. Like my hands are seriously shaking. It was awesome. What do you think? Love it. Very nice. Very clean. Better than someone else. Of course. Oh, perfect. All right. Number one was great. The nozzle's still in it. Um, it's 
beautifully, hardly any erosion or anything. I can't wait to cut open the engine and see uh, see how it looks. <laughs> what looks inside? We're gonna do number two. Let's try it, see what happens. Alright, so two great tests, um, and you know I call them great tests, but really this is the this is the the best part about about doing this hobby and about coming out and testing is that in the end of the day you have more questions than you did when you started, and you have to go ahead and uh, figure out what was going on and and open up those engines and come up with a new design. There's just nothing better than that. It's fantastic. But I'm just killing for some day data from those things. Man, I just wonder what the chamber pressure was. I wonder what the thrust was. But that's the next step. So the great part is we have an excellent place where we can test. It's easy to get to. Um, it was fantastic. It's 10 minutes from the border where I picked Alberto up. It's great. So the next step is data and getting them to um, continue to stay on the whole time. Which I, I didn't even know it could do that. But whatever. So... At least they didn't blow up, and at least uh, everything was great. Just a great day.